another episode of the Whiskey Diaries. I'm your host, Mark Lang, and today we are at Death and Taxes. We are going to be talking about the Nikka Whiskey uh, Distillery Miyagi Kyu. Uh, it's a really mouthful, that one. Uh, but this one is the second distillery that Nikka started. This, uh, this distillery started in uh, 1969, 35 years later than the Yoshi original distillery. That was the second distillery that, uh, uh, the, well, the second major distillery that opened in Japan. Uh, there's a whole lot of story about it that we talked in other episodes, but today we're going to focus on the single bottlings that they do uh, that they're really, really hard to find unless you actually do the trip to Sendai in Japan to the distillery itself. You can't possibly buy this online, but it's still go for super, super expensive and a lot more expensive than you can actually buy it at the distillery. Ridiculously enough, these whiskies at the distillery they sell for eighty to ninety ninety dollars. Uh, if you go online, you can find anything. If you can find them for two hundred and fifty over three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. The other thing as well that is interesting about this one in particular is that there is only five hundred ml bottles. Uh, so the tiny little bottles, so it, it makes the whiskey even worth more. The reason why they do this is just to keep whiskey in Japan and be able to showcase uh, what they can do in the distillery instead of everywhere in the world and they want to make sure that you go to the distillery. These are all bottled at 55%. They don't have an age statement. I couldn't find an age statement and I couldn't get information from them in the distillery themselves. Uh, and they all go by the name describing the flavor of the bottle itself. So they got at the moment three core range that is the sherry and sweet. Then uh, they do the malty and soft. And then they'll do a fr fruity and rich. Now you can see obviously by the colors of the bottles that obviously the sherry, uh, the sherry and sweet is definitely a sherry cask. We can guess that much. Uh, I do not know what cask, but by the color, I can say I can probably can tell you that is uh, definitely American oak, and this could be a blend between American oak and sherry because of the slightly darker color. Uh, malty means obviously like a little bit more grainy, like um, like probably new make spirit, um, so probably a younger type of spirit, uh, and then fruity and rich would definitely means that. Uh, it's a little bit longer age and um, comes from American oak and a, and a mix of sherry. Uh, so today we're going to try the sherry and sweet because uh, if you've seen a couple of my episodes, you know that I have a soft spot for sherry casks and a 55% alcohol. This we definitely need probably uh, a little bit, a, job, a couple of drops of water like we usually do. Yeah. So. Miyayiku compared to Yoishi Distillery. Yoishi Distillery produced, produced a more robust and smoky whiskey. They actually use some sort of uh, pitted malt in their whiskies. Miyayiku produces a more floral, uh, more green style uh, whiskey like green grass, green tea, uh, more floral, like yeah, definitely flowers in, in the smell. So you can definitely taste that in, and smell that in here. And at 55%, you can definitely, all those aromas coming through. Yeah, that's classic Miyayiku. If you if you ever had some, you can you can definitely taste those notes. And the sherry is actually coming out really really beautiful. Uh, and like the label says, it's actually quite sweet. Surprisingly enough, I thought that I would have to add water to this, but I think this is delicious as it, as it is. More than welcome for you to add some water. So hopefully you enjoy this series. We'll see you next time. Salam